boy, have I got a brain teaser for you today. Is privacy overrated? First of all, let me say this is commentary on an opinion that's not even mine. So we're two degrees away from me giving you any kind of advice that you should not take. But that being said, is privacy overrated? Uh, this question comes to me from a guy named Scott Adams. You might recognize him as the creator of the Dilbert comic strip and from his daily vlog style show, Coffee with Scott Adams. So today I'm taking up this question that Adams uh, presents in his book, Loser Think. Uh, he has a section in there called Privacy is Overrated. Uh, and of course, that's a provocative headline. Uh, how can privacy be overrated, especially today, right? Don't we need privacy? Don't we have all these companies out there trying to steal our data and, and sell it and not give us any money in return? But in this book, uh, Scott Adams, uh, I think he's talking about a different kind of privacy. And I always find that interesting because I don't like it when I have one solid idea of what I think something is all about. And then I forget that there might be other contexts and other instances that might be relevant in understanding one big concept. So I want to get this right, and I don't want to uh, misquote the book here. So I'm just going to read a paragraph from Loser Think. So here's Scott Adams. Let me tell you about a time in which I intentionally traded privacy for freedom. I was born with a condition called pariuresis, also known as shy bladder. It means you can't urinate if anyone else is in the room or even in listening distance. Perhaps 5% of the public has this condition. The thing you need to know about pariuresis is that there is no way for someone who has it to simply relax harder to get past it. The sensation is that your body and your mind become temporarily disconnected. Your body locks up even when your mind is totally at ease. The name shy bladder is misleading because shyness is not the problem. It happens to people who are not shy in general, and it seems to have a genetic component. At around age 50, my brother Dave came out about his pariuresis. At the time, I didn't even know it had a name, and as hard as this is to imagine, I didn't know my brother had it, nor did he know I had it, unquote. So basically, for most of Adams' life, he suffered with this problem, and he didn't even know it had a name. Um... But by giving up some of his privacy, his brother Dave came out about having this disability, and that helped Adams find some relief and some strategies for dealing with it. And it also connected him to the larger community of people who have that issue. So I read that, and it occurs to me how I think very often in the tech community, we get very concerned about privacy. Um, but privacy may not be the complete picture. Just the word privacy may not be specific enough. Concerned about data security... Uh, that might be more accurate if you're responsible for holding data about your customers, for example. Uh, you know, you would better be concerned about securing that data and, uh, you know, even letting people know how the data is going to be used and how it's going to be secured. Um, if you're an IT person or a technical writer or a web developer, uh, I think you should be very clear about your terminology and a little specificity wouldn't hurt. Uh, if you're building a website for someone and they say, hey, you know, I have some privacy concerns. You might want to probe them on what they mean specifically and find out exactly what they want to protect. When new bloggers were just getting started, back when blogging was the new hot thing, they were often advised to use their real name and put a nice picture in the sidebar. Uh, this gave up some of their privacy, but the wisdom behind it was that it might help their readers relate to them. So is privacy overrated? We all give up a little privacy, I think, in order to participate in the world, especially online. Uh, and uh, as Adam says, you know, we're tribal creatures who are once accustomed to having everyone in the tribe know everything about us. Uh, but in modern times, uh, people seem to have got a taste for privacy, and perhaps some people like it more than others. Adams goes on to emphasize that there are certain types of privacy that definitely deserve to be protected, but in some matters, you never know how opening up about something private might help you find some solidarity with others and maybe discover some new solutions you wouldn't have discovered otherwise. So I'd say, yes, privacy as one big umbrella concept uh, might be overrated in general. You can probably use some common sense to figure out what you need to guard and what you can safely share with others. But that's all I've got for now. I'll uh, talk to you all next time.